So it's uh, five thirty-four p.m. on um, Sunday, twenty-one August, twenty twenty-two. So, uh, so yeah, my brother just went to visit my mom. Um, <clears throat> apparently, her condition is improving. Uh, like uh, they've. Uh, taken some of the uh, they've taken her off life support I think a couple of days ago and uh, and and that and that blood uh, pumping machine which was cleaning her blood and all that they took her off that and today apparently they took her off some kind of a balloon thing which <laughs> I don't know why, why. I think the balloon thing helps a heartbeat or something. And uh, yes, yeah, so she's apparently improving, and she's also like has communicated with the doctors when she was uh, like she goes in and out of consciousness or something. And uh, well, last like my brother said that last time, like she was coughing blood because there was some fluid in her system caused by the medication because she's on a lot of medication so i mean the first 24 hours were looking really bad uh, 24 hours I means when was that um when she had her second heart attack or when was that was it monday or tuesday maybe it was tuesday uh yeah but it was looking really bad it was like she they didn't know like you know whether she would uh, it's a very bad, uh, looking bad, and I assume you know that she was going to die, and <laughs> I sort of like, uh, you know, resigned myself to that, and I was like, it's like, oh, this, is, this is the end of something, and it's like, I mean, she still has a, a, a long way to go. I mean, it's always like you got to take this like, you know, one day at a time because you just don't know if they're going to be like setbacks or complications or anything so but at the moment she seems to be doing okay um you know my brother <laughs> throughout this whole ordeal he's been there at the hospital like you know every day uh, in the morning and then the evening you know visiting hours and he's been like really like worried and you know taking time off work and you know he's really like <laughs> he's been there he's like really uh, you know like he's been very emotionally affected by it and you know, and for me I'm like I, I haven't visited her I haven't even left the house and <sighs> my way of dealing with this was was to say okay she's passed away so it's it's like it's gone and She's gone and <sighs> oh man, what the hell? Anyway, um so this is what's happening. So yeah, I'm just trying to do some I've been watching some videos on programming. You know, I ordered this book and uh, they delivered it uh, a few days ago, but I thought this delivery was lost because I couldn't find any package outside the room. But today I went to and checked in the post box, and in they they left it there. So I'm a little happy. Like finally, I thought it was like lost or something. It's like I feel like making some videos on programming <laughs> just because I'm watching other people doing it. I want to do it because other people are doing. It. Uh, I, I do that thing where I see people on YouTube doing something, but I want to do that too. I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty. I should, I should start streaming that as well, but I've, but I've got my... I have to set up the second computer because I can't s stream on this, this computer because, you know, performance hit and all that. So I gotta, I've got the card and everything. I just have to set things up, but... Uh, Yes. I did grooming, you know, some grooming, so that's good. Uh, anyway, so that's the update on my... Uh, she seems to be getting better. Um, but 
is like a 50 or 50 like a day at a time type thing and 